The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Esavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart of the FTSE, as you can see, a very colorful chart. It comes from Alan Smith over in the UK. Uh, one of my uh, colleagues uh, has done a great job, and uh, he sends me the DAX and the uh, FTSE uh, almost uh, every day. Sometimes I uh, don't get it all the time, but today I did. About 99% of the time I do get it. Now, let's take a look here at the next one, which is the uh, German DAX. And hold on, I want to get this up here to, uh, got a lot, of, a lot of things to cover today, folks. Hold on here a second. This is the DAX. You can see we're making a, an ABCD pattern up here, rather, a rather large one. And within that, you can see the, uh, the purple triangles. You know, that's not, nothing more than a butterfly pattern that is, uh, that is going on. A double check uh, broadsword to Danny Boy to Al. The chicken is landed. The eagle is in the pot. Are the charts coming up okay? 10 4. Yes, we are in good shape. All right, I have a question from Will. And Will has a very, very interesting question. And his question was this He asked me to take a look to see if this was XLE, which is the, I believe it's the energy ETF. And I want to get up here to show you folks. Now, these patterns that we're looking at here. His question was, was this a head and shoulders pattern? And the answer that I have to give to him is this felt formula that was in the book by Andrew Lowe, the non-random walk down Wall Street. In order for the head and shoulder pattern, the left shoulder and the right shoulder had to be equal with the right shoulder, preferably lower than the right shoulder, which is correct. But the time sequence between the high and the two highs and the three highs should be equal. So that that high should have come in right about here. So that it did not fulfill the requirements of a head and shoulders pattern. But, but, and here's where the real fun comes in. All we had to do was to go in and look at it just a little bit closer. And this is what we do for trading, boys and girls, is we try to get down to the point where we can find a situation where we could find a buy or sell. Here's the same chart. And all I did was I took the high here there's your left shoulder. Remember, this is a monthly chart, folks. There's a lot of money involved here. Left shoulder, right shoulder, and there's where we went negative, down here. Do you remember? Well, this monthly didn't because it was just that one option in April of a year and a half ago that uh, caused that to do that. So let's put it all together, and we're going to look at it now from a pattern recognition standpoint of this. And we'll get it up here right now. There we go. I have three questions and everybody's asking me the same thing. And now you can see we had the beautiful head and shoulders pattern, the ABCD pattern. Look at the low, folks. Come on. Give me a break. Gee whiz, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Let's move on here uh, to the next one here. Hold on. I want to get, uh, get here moving up a little bit here just one second here and I will talk to you about a uh, couple of things that uh, let me show you something here folks we were talking about this yesterday I want to bring it to your attention because it's very important from a standpoint of you know getting your trade set up and everything but this is the uh, NAS <laughs> this is the natural gas well they both start with N for heaven's sakes you can see we had this beautiful head and shoulders pattern here now, boy, now that, that's a bad sign. Uh, this means it's a three drive to a top pattern, folks, not head and shoulders. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. I put the, the cycle finder in from high to high to high, comes in. You got it, folks, on Tuesday, just spot on. Well, let's follow up on this today because uh, this is one that I missed. And, boy, I'll tell you, I've been kicking myself all night long, all day long, all day yesterday, and most of the day the day before because I missed it. Uh, 
And as you look up here, you'll be able to see here. So far today, folks, this was done about an hour and a half ago. We were already down $10,000 from the high three days ago. And there's another 2000 you can add on to that already today. So that's a $12,000 move in two days with a margin requirement of about four grand. <laughs> Those are the kind that you really like to get. And I missed it. And I have to blame it on the allergy. I don't have to blame it on anything because I missed it. That's basically the bottom line. I miss a lot of them. That one, I'm very uh, unfortunate that I am sorry that I missed that one. Now, I've had a question uh, about the gold market. And uh, if you remember, folks, we were watching gold, and this is another example. But this one we didn't miss. So this was one that we've been. Uh, uh, hold on a second here. Get this up here. There's a. You can see there's the ABCD up there at the. Uh, we're switching over to August gold now, folks. Uh, June's going to be history now, so we're going to switch to August. This is June still. You'll see that we made the ABCD pattern uh, to the upside. Well, just just for kicks and giggles, yesterday. I was searching through, and guess what I found when I was looking at the gold chart? Here's another one that I missed. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at this. To the exact tick, 382 of the low we made on the 16th. To the exact tick, folks. I mean, to the exact tick, 1837. I mean, you can't make that stuff up. Oh, you can make it up. I can tell you why I can make it up. I'll prove to you. Just one second. I'm going to show you why you can make it up. And you know what? You can use it over and over again, and that's the really beauty of it. So let's go not talk about gold anymore, but what we're going to talk about is black gold, Texas tea. Hold on. Here you go. There it is. You'll be able to see that right there. There was exact to the tick, 382 on the crude oil. You can see it right there at 12 and change. The reason why I talk about Texas Tea and Jed Clampett, folks, uh, when that was on the Beverly Hill, Beverly Hills, Beverly Hillbillies, I was hanging around with Vince Edwards, and Vince Edwards was married to Kathy Kirsch. She was the girl that ran Beverly Caterers, that catered all the parties there for the Clampets. And boy, you talk about a beautiful girl. She was a former uh, Miss something or other, Alabama, Tennessee something, but boy, she was gorgeous. They, they, they were married about uh, five years, and I, I'd, I'd see her at the track every once in a while. She'd come up and say hello to Vince. They were still friends. And uh, she actually came to Vince's, uh, Vince's funeral uh, when he passed away of cancer. Uh, back in, I think it was 95. Anyway, the uh, the main thing is, is she works as a real estate agent out in the San Fernando Valley. She has several offices. She's done incredibly well and has been very happily married since that time. But boy, what a knockout. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, gee, how did I get off that? Uh, anyway, we'll move on to the next one here. We got a chart here from Zach Arino. We got to talk about Zach's chart here. He's been sending us Jack, Zach Moore out of... Uh, I think he's a Cajun out of uh, Tupelo, Mississippi, or someplace down in the south somewhere. I don't. Maybe it's Bat Baton Rouge. Anyway, let's take a look at this chart. When we get back. We're going to talk about it. Uh, it's about the Federal Reserve and uh, the games that they play that Mr. Shane Smolian alerts us to all the time. But we'll talk about this when we get back from the break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We're talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner 
Ready Development Stage Gold Project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, folks. Uh, Zach was kind enough to send us his chart here, and he circled these. Uh, he he get it. He got it from somebody else. But you notice that each time that the Fed talks, there's a rally. It's almost as if they come out saying things that are positive, and you can see what happens after each time they talk. I've been watching this going on for forever. I mean, it just uh, just absolutely amazes me how the the, the news follows the trend actually is what we're looking at when we're watching this. Okay, now let's move on to a couple others that I want to talk about. Here is one that just missed last night. Uh, those of you that trade the euro and belong to the 24-7, you'll know that we had an order setting up there uh, about five pips away from where we supposedly got filled. It immediately broke $700, but uh, no cigar on that one, folks. We missed it. But that is, folks, a one, three five pattern as you can see you can see number three has a beautiful gardley in between it right here and then we come down that's one three and five and if this is correct we could have an a b c d you know that would take us down to par in the uh euro if in fact we get there but the dollar is held up uh relatively well under some you can see here this last eight eight or nine days here we had a pretty good uh, rally here uh in the uh euro which means the dollar index backed off but it still held up really good, and gold held up incredibly well, considering that it's done uh, everything that it's uh, supposed to do. And you know, it's been bearish. We've been watching it. Now, I want to uh, cover a couple of things here uh, in the stock market because we're we've been up. Uh, let's get this up here. Uh oh, something's happening. So let's see what's going on. Oh, that's a soybean meal. I told you, well, let's, let's just time out, folks. i got to turn this limit minder off. Otherwise, this thing will be going on for, oh, look where it is. Are you kidding me? You can't make this up. Let's just do this right now since we're talking talking on the air here. Let's just get this ready and send it right out to you folks so you can take a look at it yourself. And you'll see what I do here all day long, every day, not knowing what I'm doing. And here is the soybean meal that just rang the bell. All it was doing was hitting the number here. Folks, I'm thinking um, 
I have a uh, uh, okay. You can see here's the S and P. Uh, oh dear, Larry, boy. I, <laughs> okay, here's the high in the soybean meal. We come down. We make a higher high than last week. Exactly at the 382 here, folks. That's important. At that point, I know I do not have to risk very much. Now, I wouldn't necessarily want you to do that trade, but that's the type of trade that I look at to see whether I'm going to do that. The other thing that I do here when I'm doing these charts, let's see, I've covered all that XLE. Let me do the Bitcoin, and uh, I've got a, wow, I've got a lot of time left so I can get all this. Let me do Bitcoin first, and then I want to do uh, Ethereum. And then we'll cover a couple other things here because I think this is the one that is going to be uh, be very, very important here eventually. This is a chart of Bitcoin. It's a weekly chart. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, we are, if you'll look at this, uh, Bitcoin started basically in 2003, folks. Uh, 2012, 10 or 12 is when it really started moving. But do you realize that where we are right now, at setting here right now, that we're we're still 90% above all the value of Bitcoin since it started. 90%. So people that bought it, you know, really early, they're still huge, huge ahead. People that bought it up at the top there at 160 or at $67,000, uh, they're not doing so well. So my question is, we believe in ABCD patterns quite a bit, and this is pointing down to 12,500 in Bitcoin. I have to assume just by looking at this, that that's what it's going to do. I I don't know any other way because I don't understand. I understand the charts, but by golly, I don't understand some of them. So let's, uh, I don't understand the, the uh, what do you call it, the tokens and coins and blockchains and all that. Now here is Ethereum. Now you're seeing Ethereum here, the same thing, you're seeing it's making another big ABCD down here, or right about there. Now, I don't know if it's going to get there or not, but if it gets there, that would be the place you'd want to maybe be, uh, try to get it, you know? So we'll see. Okay, now, let's talk just a tiny bit about the market, the stock market, because uh, I... I must have really messed up, folks, because I did everything but jump up and down last week when we were making those ABCDs everywhere in the stock market, especially uh, in the uh, Dow Jones. And the, I'll put the Dow Jones E-mini up here. We, were, we made the same ones in the S&P, as you've already seen before, when I just posted it just a minute ago. But there's the, uh, the big ABCD. And I said, if you can't buy that one, you can't buy anything. I, I had people say to me, well, you didn't tell us what to buy. Well, I posted the NASDAQ. I posted the uh, all of them. I posted every single one of them. I, I, I'm not, I can't give you the orders to put in. I mean, you, you have to decide whether you're going to buy it and where you're going to sell it, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm thinking of changing a strategy here at TFNN, and because I get tired, and I know you guys get tired of looking at all these charts. Sometimes you don't mean anything. So what I think I might be doing is uh, I – because when I'm doing this, I can't be trading, folks. And an hour away from trading and the way the markets are acting can be really, really very, very, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, expensive. So what I'm thinking of doing, I have to check this with Tommy Sr. and Tommy Jr., but I might just trade live every hour, hour a day uh, for a while just to see what it's at. It's a eh, pretty good size account. But anyway, I might do that too, because i got to do it anyway. And uh, you might learn something more or less. I don't know. But I got to do something different because this is not being much fun for me, just doing these same patterns and everything. And I, I appreciate all the calls coming in. I mean, it's every day. You know, Al complains. He says, Larry, please, please tell them to stop calling in. But, you know, it doesn't work. They just keep calling in. What are you going to do? Okay. Now, let's take a look at another one here. There's three or four others that you have to pay close attention to. I'll do them one at a time because we're all – uh, all in this mess together here, but we're in a Friday and an up week after six days up for the market to close lower today be nearly impossible. You can see here the ABCD here in the Russell. There's your D point right there. There's where you want to always buy at D. Risk 3% below D, you're usually going to be okay. Look at the ABCD. We're almost there right now, folks. I About half hour ago, I checked it. It was almost there. Making a 382 retracement, you know, so that's going to be what's really interesting is if this is going to be the case or not. So I don't know if it's going to stop. Nobody else does either. But all I'm doing is I'm just basically looking at the patterns. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Somebody said a police trade live. Uh, the more, more I think about that, <laughs> probably not a good idea, Billy. All right. Let's move on over here to uh, – did I get this – I didn't do the stop and pee yet. Hold on. Here's the S&P, folks. Here's, here's what we were watching for today. We've been expecting this rally for quite some time, and here's where we are. We've been up six days. I showed you the Russell, showed you the Dow Jones. Uh, I don't think I did anyway. Here's the S&P. All right. Now, we've made the 382 off of the high of March 28th. That came in at uh, 4124. Okay. And the high has been 4126 or maybe higher than that now. Yeah, 4126 is still the high. Anyway, that's what we're watching here. I don't know what it means anything or not, but we'll keep an eye on it. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. .com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. I'm not going to post the chart of Tesla uh, any longer because I brought that up too many times this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, showing you the fact that it was perfectly symmetrical, time and price lined up. And I said, not only was it with Tesla, it was with Amazon, Google, Apple, Microsoft. Not so in Netflix and Metaverse or uh, Facebook because they were decimated stocks. These stocks are in big trouble. But they were still bouncing. Uh, the others were just absolute perfect ABCDs. We saw it in J.P. Morgan. We saw it in Goldman Sachs. Uh, just one after another. I mean, there's a few 
that uh, didn't make it, but the bulk of them, the ones that, you know, the, the bulk of the S&P, all of them are making these patterns, and we've been up strongly for six days, coming into a Friday and a holiday weekend. The day before a holiday, the odds of the market closing higher is 75%. Hello, operator. Hard for the market to turn down today, but who knows? All I know is these holidays. I remember back, like I mentioned before, 1983, I was in beans, and I missed a monster bean. I, I had to pay up for a dollar a bushel, folks, in 83 to, to get into that market finally, that, and it went another couple dollars above that, but uh, – that's how I missed the market by, by I had my order in, went a penny and a half below it, and I still didn't get filled because we didn't have electronic trading then. It was all by the brokers, and if the broker didn't have his order sitting in there, was the girls weren't fast enough passing over the tickets, uh, you know, <laughs> you're in big trouble. Didn't work. Now it's everything's electronic. That's why we have volume the way it is. I mean, it's thousands and thousands of people here. Now let's take a look here. This was one early this morning. Now this has been exceeded. Because I just did the, I just wanted to show you the symmetry that was going on here. This is the Nasdaq, and you can see here we had this rally here that uh, was equal to that rally so far today. I can't close it now. This should be the Nasdaq chart should be up. Is that correct? Ten four. Huh? Hello, operator. Chicken is in the pot. All right, I'll post it again. I guess I did something wrong. I tell you, you shouldn't give you shouldn't give a mouse to a, an Italian, folks. It's just uh, it should be uh, illegal. <laughs> okay, there we go. There it is. Okay, now we've actually gone up here to this uh, 1.618 expansion here, <clears throat> but seven days up, uh, six days up into a holiday weekend uh, that was to be expected. Uh, the market, Tommy Jr. was on, and he said uh, Apple has gone from 132, which was the ABCD. Measured to 133 and a quarter. The low was 132 and a half. Missed it by three quarters of a point. So I guess that one didn't work. And it's rallied 10%. It's up to, I think, 147 or something today. So when these markets turn on these ABCDs, when they all happen together, remember, folks, those are very, very important numbers. And you have to pay, uh, what I think, uh, close attention to them uh, without uh, any doubt at all. By the way, if you did the soybean meal trade, you have a hundred dollar profit in it, so don't let it go to a loss. At least put a stop above the high of the day. That way, you'll get out uh, with a ten dollar loss, or maybe even break even if you happen to be lucky. Someone has asked me how far do I think these uh, markets will go. I have no clue at all. All I know is that if you remember, I always say that just a second here because I know no one remembers, but this was the number we were looking at last week and the week before. This is what happened in 2008 at the bottom of the market. Here's where we were last Thursday. Okay, we were halfway down to that. And believe me, folks, what was going on between 2008 and what we have going on now, I mean, they're not even comparable. I mean, we lost Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns, and a whole bunch of other great companies uh, during plus the not-so-great companies with the dot-com stuff. But those are the main ones that we're, we're, we're work, working on. Uh, someone asked a question about my allergies. I'm much better. I did uh, uh, stay out of the uh, outside yesterday, and so it was uh, much better as far as uh, getting better and better. Okay, now I wanted to go through uh, this chart uh, that I talked about a little bit earlier in the crude oil because this is this is how I look for trades, folks. I mean, I I, I try to post them best I can. Sometimes I can't because they happen so quickly. This happens to be a 15-minute chart here uh, in the uh, crude oil. Now, look at, the, look at the perfect A, B, C, D. Right down here where you buy it, it immediately, it immediately goes up and makes a, takes out all of these highs. It rallies $2,000, folks. And then after that, after it makes that high, up here, $2,000, I, I'm going to show you what it did because I happened to be in that when I uh, I didn't I didn't get the short off, but I made a nice piece on the long side. And then when I saw this, I I realized that I had missed this. Also, the reason why is I'm doing too many things, folks. Too many hats are in the old uh, 
station wagon. So I've, I don't know even why I use that word station wagon. Okay. Anyway, there's the exact 382. Here's, here's the ABCD. I bought it there. I got out right here at the 786. I tried selling it a little higher than this, above like at 115. Uh, 20, we got to 114.99, and we broke all the way down, $2,500, all the way down here to this level right here, and then right back to the 61% retracement. So you can see these numbers work very nicely on a 15-minute chart. And that's one of the things I look at each day is to try to find some of these on a 15-minute chart that give you a really good opportunity of uh, where you want to be as far as a as a buyer or seller. So I hope that uh, gives you some information. Let's get back up here and uh, just get back to the Apple because since we were talking about the, uh, hold on a second, we talked about the crude oil, we talked about gold, we might as well talk about Apple here. This is the one we posted last week. You'll see the 382 came in here at uh, 133. I closed at 137 on that Friday. Uh, now we're at 147, we're way up here. But that was a perfect A, B, C, D, and we're exactly at the 382 retracement. You see 382 retracements in strong trending markets, folks. They're, you got to look for them, but gosh, they're there. That makes it really, uh, really a lot of fun. Oh, by the way, today is the uh, Top Gun uh, opening. Uh, I didn't see the original Top Gun, so I doubt if I'll see this one. So uh, we'll uh, move on to the next one. Uh, we have a Air Force base here, a very large one, Davis Monthon Air Force Base, and we have the astronauts that go through there. They have all kinds of stuff. Uh, we have an astronaut program here at the University of Arizona Aerospace, and uh, I've told this story before. My good friend Jimmy Elder came out, and they had a simulator there, and the uh, the, the guy, the direct, the general of the base. The general of the Air Force there, I played poker with him, and uh, he said, hey, if you ever want to come out and take a look at that. So we went and they gave Jimmy a uh, trial in the uh, ice in the, uh, the simulator. He had to prepare one day before he went in it, and he was in it about 30 minutes, and he came out. He was, oh, he was green. He was so sick, and he just couldn't. He's a doctor, a double doctor. He's got two MD degrees and a, a dental degree, and he said he's never seen his his body exposed to that much uh, uh, turmoil in that 30-minute period because uh, the stuff that they go through. These astronauts have to be incredible athletes, folks, for what they have to endure. It's uh, it's really uh, it's really amazing. So, all right, now we have another one that I wanted to share with you, uh, and we'll be right back, folks. We're not. It's not going to be Tesla, I promise. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. And what I'm going to tell you next, you're not going to believe. We have a caller. Lee from Riverview, Florida. Lee, how are you doing? Hey, Larry, good. How about yourself? Just living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass. What can I do for you, pal? Sweet. Hey, um, a week or two, I believe you were talking about the potential for a major drop, and I wondered uh, you know, in the near future here, and I wonder if that's been negated. I thought one of the key levels on the SPY was 410. Can you speak to that, or do you? does that make sense? Uh, yes, it does, but, you know, we, we have completed all of the patterns that uh, we've been watching. Let me, I'll, I'll do the, uh, I'll bring the SPY up for you because uh, that was one of the things that we were watching very closely. So it's, uh, we completed that pattern, uh, and I focused on in the newsletter last Sunday because we had so many ABCD patterns. There it is right now, here again, just like the, all the other okay. 3A2s. You can see there it is right there, the exact 382. We were expecting a rally. And uh, so far, what we've done is we've made a 382 rally off of that high uh, back in March. But that's still early. And remember, this is a holiday uh, weekend. And your day before a holiday, the odds of the market closing higher, closing higher on that day are better than 75%. So, you know, over the holiday, things might change between Sunday and Monday. But they'll be trading Sunday night, of course. Uh, and then Monday night they'll be trading too. So there's going to be two days of trading that people won't see until they come in on Tuesday, and uh, that could be very exciting. But uh, all I know is that we made uh, the 382 in the S&P at uh, 4124 today. That was off the uh, March uh, 28th high, and then also off the May 4th high. That was a 61% retracement. They both came in exactly at the same time. Okay. So for the next couple of days, does that mean you're bullish? I'm, I, I was bullish up. But today's the last day for the bullishness because I expected a five okay. to six, a five day rally. This is the sixth day. So if uh, you were in Apple or any of those things that we were looking at, that we talked about Google, Facebook, you know, not Facebook, but uh, Google and uh, Google and Amazon. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, My Microsoft and Apple and Tesla. All of them have had really strong rallies. 10%. You know, and 10% okay. in a week. You know, that's more than you get in a bank, I don't think, isn't it? 10% yep. a week? Yep, for sure. Okay. So um, I guess bottom line, what would your thoughts be on um, going short at the end of the day? Ah, you're putting me putting the old cowboy in a little tizzy here. Here's your here's the answer to your question. We've got four hours to go. As long as we're below forty one twenty six in the S and P, I think it's safe to go short. If we're above forty one twenty six, I don't want to. I I would say no. Uh, you're above the three eight two. You can have another few more days of rally. And with the weekend, there's no reason to. Uh, you know, take the risk. But below 41.26, 
yes, I'd say, you know, that that's I would be willing to go short. Excellent. Thanks very much. Hey, listen to you every day. Never call, but, you know, make no mistake. We listen to you every day and write stuff down and all that. And appreciate well, we're your about, uh, we're, help. Thank you, Lee. But we're above 4126 right now. So chances are this thing's going to be up for the rest of the day. Uh, okay. So, you know, it's got to be below 41. Below 41.26, uh, then I would say, yeah, that'd be a pretty good chance that uh, you could uh, have that, uh, you know, working in your favor. Excellent. Okay. Thanks a lot, bud. Okay. Thank you for calling in, Lee. Really appreciate it. Take There's care. another example, folks, of that 382 working uh, just absolutely perfectly in the uh, weekly of the New York's of the S and. And the, the S and, of the S and P cash, <laughs> and also I wanted to also bring this up to you one more time since we're talking about three eight twos today. We'll do the same thing that we did last uh, Friday when we were on the show, and that was we would talk to you about this three eight two that we had there last Friday. It actually, happened on Thursday. We had a little bit of a rally, and so you can see we went right to the three eight two, folks. There's a possibility we could make new highs on this puppy. Because, I mean, the whole world is bearish. I mean, they were bearish as heck down here, if you all remember. And by golly, uh, there ain't no reason to be bearish now. That's for sure. You know what I mean? These puppies are running. You know, 72 higher in the S&P, I heard just a second ago over on Bloomberg. We're 350 up in the S&P, 309, 320 points or so in the NASDAQ. And a Russell is only about uh, five points away from making the ABCD at the 382. And, Lee, if you're on the line, the one to sell would be the Russell, not the S&P. Sell the Russell. It's weaker. So I hope you're still there, Lee, because that's the one that you want to do. Always sell the weakest and buy the strongest. That's what you want to do. You don't want to do anything, uh, anything more than that. So let's remind ourselves it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. That's the key to doing everything that we're seeing here in all these things. I wanted to do one other one here uh, because we were talking about this earlier, and that was about the NASDAQ. And uh, we've had this tremendous move here in the NASDAQ with uh, Apple up 10%, you know, a couple others. But you can see the perfect ABCD down here, folks, uh, just absolutely perfect. And now you know, the big rally uh, to the upside. So we probably, you're probably going to get some more busting through those numbers. So I would uh, just be patient and see what's going to happen because you're going to get lots of really good chances in here, folks, because uh, these markets are volatile, folks, and volatility is what we really like. And uh, pattern recognition is built for volatility. It always has, and it always will be. So we'll keep a close eye on some of these things of uh, what's going on. I mentioned the fact that there was a possibility we could make new highs uh, in some of these things. And and frankly, folks, there is that possibility. The reason why is the last time we had a 382 like this was at the COVID, you know, and the COVID went nuts to the upside. You know, you don't know what's going to happen. So we've been in a monster bull market for a long time. I know the Prector folks thinks that the top is in. I actually think the top is in, but, you know, this is either a, a great short cover. And by the way, the open inc increase in the uh, S&P yesterday was minus. So that was short covering. So if you have short covering today, uh, you won't know that until at the end of the day. But if you have short covering today, you can, you're can. you going to come in here Tuesday or Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and you're not going to see a higher market. So you got to, like David White says, sell when you want to, not when you have to. So let's uh, keep that in mind as we look at some of these other things that we're paying attention to. Okay, now I wanted to cover one other thing, and that is about the gold. Because, uh, hold on just a second here. Uh, there's the one I want. Just a second here, get the gold up. We've been short the gold since 1865 here. Let's get this up here. This is the buy that we had down here. We went up to the 382 at 1865. Actually, it went to the 618, not 382. And we're still in that. Uh, that's in the June gold. Uh, it's trading around 1849 now. We're thinking there's a possibility we could get it down to 1825, but we'll have to wait and see You know how the things uh 
come undone as we look at some of these things. I, I hear the beepers going off, so I know that the uh, thing is going higher. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Most of the chart here, <clears throat> hello operator, as of last Sunday in the Russell, now we've completed the ABCD, that the 382 retracement up here in the Russell, I think we're just still two points away. But uh, if you're going to sell one, that's the one to sell. Remember, for the market to reverse today on a day before the holiday is very, very difficult. So we'll see whether that is uh, going to mean anything or not on a long-term uh, chart. But as you look at this here, look at these 382 we had on the way down, folks. I mean, it was really quite amazing. But now we've come up to this level right here, making that uh, ABCD that I posted just a little bit earlier, telling you that you're pretty much, you know, spot on as you're looking at some of these things. So I, I think it's important to pay attention to. So we'll see. Uh, what I couldn't understand is what people uh, said to me or a couple people emailed me and said, uh, why are we having this rally? Folks, I don't think I was ever more adamant about the ABCD patterns that I saw everywhere. I mean, I saw them in my sleep. I mean, there were a few that didn't work, but I mean, 80%, 80%, 90% of them worked. The big ones worked for sure. I mean, they were all making ABCDs, and they've had huge moves. 
you know, 10% off the bottom. That That's important. And it should be because it's that big of an ABCD off of a 3A2. But here's the, here's the rub, folks. If we go below that 3A2 now, and if we go below that 3A2 now, and if we go below that 3A2 now, this market's in big trouble. I mean, big trouble. That, that'll that be your crash. If it goes below that 382 now, that'll be your crash. If there is a crash, I don't even know if there was. It's been 70, what, 50 years since we had one? See, no, not that much, 87. 37 years since we had the last one. So I don't know. That's half of a big cycle. So who knows whether that means anything or not. But we do have a bunch of astrological stuff coming up. Of course, a holiday. Everybody's off on Monday. We'll be back on Tuesday. And uh, seeing everybody, and hopefully everybody has a wonderful holiday. Drive safe. Say prayers for the folks in Texas, folks. Say, pr say prayers for everybody in the United States and the whole world. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.